Brick Maniacs, welcome back to another episode of Brick Mania TV. Hey Brick Maniacs, welcome back. Today on Brick Mania TV, Dan has an all new Easy 8 kit for us to show off. Right, so it, it, it's new, it's not necessarily all new. All new, it's, mostly new. So it is a, a sort of a throwback to our previous, my previous uh, mm -hmm. um, Easy 8 Sherman. Um, came out a couple of years ago, still one of the most popular kits and most requested. So um, basically it was time to bring it back. And while we were bringing it back, we decided to make a wonderful little add-on pack for the Hollywood edition, so. That's right. So well, first, if we just go over, let's, let's look at the box here. Here's the basic kit. So if, if you remember the previous version, you have an 88, mm -hmm. uh, it's a Easy 8. Yes. The Easy 8 refers to, so you have M4A3 E8 Sherman. The E8 or Easy 8 in, in military parlance would be for the, the, the heavy duty suspension. So. This heavy-duty suspension, E8, experimental number eight suspension. Uh, basically, they, they, the, the problem with one of the problems with these Sherman tanks is they kept up armoring it, up gunning it, everything really heavy. They wanted to put a wider track on it, and it came up with a better suspension than the previous Shermans. That's where the Easy 8 comes right. in. So this is the basic kit. Um, what you see in the picture is what you get. Um, compared to the previous edition, it's missing its M1919. It's missing the tank commander. Um, a couple other minor details. Um, so some things we took out, save you some money, uh, but we did, come, you can look at it on here, let me just actually give you an idea what we're looking at. This is a new barrel uh, made by Brick Arms just for this tank. Mm -hmm. So we call it the 76 millimeter barrel. It is a longer version of the barrel that's on our, on our on Cody Sherman. Whoops. Right. Um, and one the other cool thing about this, I'll pull it off, is it comes with a separate muzzle brake. So this is the Easy, the easy 8's muzzle brake. Um, for the 76 millimeter gun, Will made this. Um, wh while I'm talking about that, I should point out the fact that this gun, if you have the previous Sherman, you will be able to buy this gun and this muzzle brake separately. Yes, those are for sale separately. They um, will be for sale. I don't know if we're going to have them exactly the same day as this kit comes and out. And Will came up with the yeah the, sh the regular version. This well, and this muzzle brake here um, is the Firefly muzzle brake. Muzzle cool. brake. You'll be able to basically add this to your 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 Firefly tank if you have the Firefly edition. <laughs> and here's another cool one. This one is actually a Panther muzzle brake. So yeah, Will's just going to town with all these uh, cool muzzles. Right. All these will be available. I'm just taking a second out of sight out just to show you some of the options. We'll, we'll start with the uh, the Easy 8, uh, but then we have these muzzle brakes. You'll be able to get all of these. Mm -hmm. You do, of course, get one with the tank, but for the owners of the previous edition, you can actually buy them separately. Or we'll, If right. we can't do it right away, within weeks, you will have these. Uh, in days probably mm -hmm. we'll have these available. So basic kit, that's a new upgrade. Also, little cute, cute little ball turret. Yeah. 30 millimeter. So I guess maybe you want to go into the rationale behind. So you have a base model here and we also have this Hollywood upgrade pack. Right. So people have been asking, there's we have two trains of thought here. Some people have been asking for cheaper, more affordable, I guess more approachable uh, versions of our kits, and it's been very successful. We've been very successful mm -hmm. in being able to reduce the price on the base model. And for those who want to get the crazy add-on pack or have add-on pack to your suit your taste and your budget, we make it making extras sold separately. Um, so that's what we have here to right. play. So right and also, I mean, some people, maybe they just prefer the figs as well, you know, just that's an entry. entry for exactly. Well. So right, you get the Easy 8. This is this is the new kit. Um, it's it's substantially cheaper mm -hmm. than the last the last one. Um, so you save some money buying your base model. The other half, if you really want to go to town, you get the Hollywood add-on pack. So that comes with figures, a ton of print. Let's just, let's just go over it. <laughs> right, so much right. Stuff to but it. first, I, I, I want to talk about the fact that if you own the previous version and you want to upgrade to this, you'll have to buy the, the gun. You'll have to buy the little 30 cal in here. This is the short one. There's a short one and a long one. This particular tank is a short gun. Um, if you want to upgrade to your from the previous one, those are the brick arms you'll have to buy. You have to get a couple of your own pieces. You'll see if you buy the add-on pack, there'll, there'll be instructions and in showing you how to use the current sure. kit. It'll be pretty apparent how to, how to take your previous edition to make it the current one. You will have to get a couple pieces from your own collection. We're not providing a, uh, or we're not making a, an adapter kit from the previous sure. easy. It, chances are you know how to build, you have a few extra parts, you'll be able to do it. So, But for this version, um, the right add-on pack box. should come out the add-on pack will have all the pieces you need to turn 
this base model easy into the Hollywood version. Exactly. So you basically what you see compared to what I showed you before in the box cover, this has of course the logs, all the cargo, massive stickering which we'll get into later. So we'll actually talk about that. Yeah. Um, you have a sticker sheet, that, lots of printed parts, the log here, the logs all have print, printing on the end. We have all the stowage on here. These are printed tiles around the side of the, they're actually not just printed, they're textured, which yeah. is kind of awesome. Uh, new tarps and so this this big gigantic two by four tile. Uh, love the little uh, the little uh, uh, basically their backpacks mm -hmm. stuck on the side. You have to convert do a little bit of conversion for your turret. Another cool thing. Uh, let's get around the front. This is a World War II German gas mask head, Ooh. exclusive to this kit. So the only way you're going to get this head for the time being is to get the. Uh, the Hollywood add-on pack for your EZ8, mm -hmm. which comes with all this stuff for your tank, plus five custom yeah. figures. Yeah. So Should we talk about the figures now, and then maybe we go sure. talk, go in depth more on those stickers and printed parts. Exactly. Cool. So we have a, a crew of five here, um, just all just inspired by various Hollywood films, and um, you know, one, one particular various. Hollywood film. <laughs> um, which one should I start with? Let's start with uh, this guy here. So we have. Um, Decked out with, uh, they all have very unique uh, outfits here, which I thought was pretty cool. So he's actually wearing um, the Army's uh, HBT trousers, and I have a little simulated texture there, uh, sort of simulated pattern for the trousers there. And uh, you can see he's got a, cha a captured German uh, pistol holster and belt, and then he's actually wearing the, uh, he's got a camouflage shirt on as well. That I, the Army used the, uh, the same frogskin camo for a little bit uh, in Europe, not very long because they kept on getting shot at. Right, when you look exactly <laughs> like Waffen SS, it's probably a good time to change your unit. See, the Army didn't end up not using this, uh, this camouflage very much, but uh, our character here has this underneath <laughs> of his tanker jacket. Um, and he's got his ranks on the sleeves. Um, what else does he have? Um, that would be a corporal. Yes, yeah. <laughs> um, custom printed face. Uh, moving on. Um, we have this uh, this newer newer addition to the team here, um, which would be a late late war uniform. right? Yep, more of a late war uniform, all in the, that olive green color. And he's got that uh, the cool sweater underneath of that, um, which um, I thought that was kind of cool. Many many mutant ninja turtles ended their ended their lives becoming. Oh yeah, <laughs> so the, the, this, this, the, the stock torso that we printed on was probably originally a, a mutant ninja a turtle. Mutant ninja turtle. <laughs> um, but yeah, <laughs> or or a, a, a Chima guy, right. alligator guys. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the, the secrets revealed. <laughs> yep, and he's wearing um, those the boots, the uh, later war boots. Sure. Um, and they both have grease guns, right? Yeah, they both have grease yeah. guns. That comes with the grease guns. That's cool. Yeah, and three grease guns. Yep. Next up, um, you have your tank commander here, and he's got the uh, second armored division. Yep. Patch on his uh, on the sleeves as well as his rank there. And hell on wheels. Hell on Wheels, Hell on yes. Wheels, 2nd Armored Division. Um, STG-44 is included with this guy. And let's see, taking a closer look at his torso, uh, he has got a, his pistol um, right on the front there. And that's kind of a cool note, this pistol, you can't really see it, it's, it's super small, but um, at the time they had, uh, you'd occasionally see these things are called sweetheart grips for their, uh, their pistols, and it's just a picture of their loved ones or various pinups uh, underneath clear plastic or clear uh, acrylic of some sort. Cool. So you can see that right on the grip of the pistol. And that's, that's in, uh, I saw that uh, just as part of the movie props when I was doing the research for that. Yes. So it's, it, you can barely see it, but I, I assure you that it's there. Right. <laughs> just the picture of his wife smiling at him. I thought that was cool. Um, moving on, we have the- He's got the, those crazy long boots too, right? Yes, oh yeah, he's got these um, cavalry, riding like cavalry riding boots or something, so. Um, Which of course you need when you're riding a tank. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, um, yeah, moving on, we have, let's see, the gunner, right? He's a loader. Loader, yeah. He's a loader. Um, the loader, and he's just like covered in head to toe in grease. He's just super grimy. Um, I think he's actually, uh, the tanker jacket he was wearing was probably originally the same color as the rest of the guys, but it's just so gnarly and covered in grease that it changed color there. So. Grease, no, blood and guts. Blood and guts. Blood and guts. Um, yeah, and he's, uh, he's been with the crew a little bit longer, so he's got a nice little, uh, Thompson SMG there, yep. so nicer weapon. Uh, and then moving on, we have the, uh, um, what was he in the movie, I'm blanking. He's the driver. He's the driver, duh. Um, so we have, next up we have, next up No, no, he's not the driver, he's, a, he's the gunner. Oh yeah. Next up we have the gunner. T4. He is a T4 with that uh, technician's, technical, technician patch on his. Technician, yeah. 
um, just where they had that for a little bit in World War II. Interesting. Um, yeah, it's cool patches on the side. Then he's got his, um, what is he all wearing? He's got his pistol holster underneath of his tanker jacket. And yeah, custom faces on all of these guys, so. Yep, and of course he gets a M M M1 A1 submachine gun. Yes, cool. Uh, that's it for the um, the printed minifigures. We also have some printed tiles and of course a sticker pack for this kit. And how about we cut to a Slam, our graphic designer, to talk about that. All right, welcome Slam. I think this is uh, your first time appearing on Brickmania TV. Um, he's Slam real. Yeah, he's, he's real, real after all. <laughs> Slam's real after I'm all. I'm a real boy. <laughs> so uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself? Um, I've been working at Brickmania for a year and a half. Yeah, year and a half. Been doing graphic design, photography uh, for uh, six months or so. Yeah. I've been doing stickers like crazy. Mm -hmm. And you've seen this crazy sticker things like all the camo packs. That was my doing. Yeah, you got a bunch yeah. of kits that you've designed. Or you, uh, no. the, oh, you designed the kits. So it <laughs> they turns don't out let me that touch Lego. Right, no. Yeah. <laughs> don't um, even touch that. Um, but yeah, this, this most latest and greatest one, we got the Fury Kid here. And this thing is cool. Yes. I am so pleased that I was in, asked to work on this. Yeah. And uh, you usually do the printed tiles. Yeah. I have to do all the printed tiles on this. And I'm so happy with how these yeah. things turned out. These bags are just cool as heck. We got the tarp. With yeah, the so these are, not only are these oh, printed, these are cool. texture printed. And so maybe you just want to go around the tank with this. Like, if you flip it around, you can see that everything is puffing out. Yeah. And this is all jumping off of what you did previously with this blanket roll back here, sure. the bedroll. Yeah. Which was just kind a, of an evolution of that, sure. Super, yeah. Because that's got the texture printing, and it's got that slightly cartoon style, which I really wanted to do here with these with the baggage and the tarpage. The tarpage? Tarpage. That's definitely That's a word. A word. Absolutely. Absolutely. <laughs> stowage. Dan says, Technical term, stowage. Stan is just shaking his head <clears throat> in disappointment <throat> as we brew in his tank. He's pulling his hair out. No! I'm a, I'm a, <laughs> we're both actual historians, and we yes. know exactly what we're talking about exactly. all the time. Exactly. All the time. Um, so the printed tiles turned out really great. Again, tried to riff off what you've done in the past. Um, Doing the log ends was mm -hmm. a really cool little project. Yeah, they're a little bit cinnamon rolly, but <laughs> they have that. The future brick mini cinnamon. They're not too pack. far from a Lego wood end, but I think they're a lot better. Yeah, it's always, there's always a balance on like how close to realism do you want to go? And I mean, it's a toy and it's Lego. There's 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 fun exaggerated proportions. So it's I, I think you know it's cool seeing that interpreted this way. So. Yeah, yeah, and. You know, I'm finding my way here, and maybe sometimes I'm too realistic. Mm. Maybe I don't know. We're, I think this is great, and I'm really, really happy with yeah. what we got going on here. Yeah, yeah. And so there's a full sticker sheet if you want to show that off here. Check okay. that out. So here's there's the set sticker in sheet the, in front of the tank. And, and you'll notice that there's an awful lot of box ends here. Yeah. Which was a great opportunity for me to do some research, um, looking through tons and tons of ration crates versus inner cartons. Yeah. Um, learned a lot about World War II ration along the way. Mm -hmm. Like we've got our K ration. I mean, this would look great. It's just own standalone uh, pack. So maybe maybe down the road we'll we visit might be able that. to do that. Yeah, yeah. Do the cool. yeah the food drop sticker pack or something. Mm -hmm. So this some of these things on the back of this tank are actually removable here. So we can. So yeah. Um, so yeah. because of the way this pack is built, right like here. some of these will have all four sides of the carton mm -hmm. and some will not. Like this is a solid piece. So essentially it's a little Olympic platform here, but it's got stickers all the way around it. Yeah. Um, hand grenades, small arms of ammunition, we've got the rope handles on the side, and yeah, you've got your most important, you know, K-ration dinner pack crate there. Absolutely. This has got your C rations, which is the cans of the cans of food that people hated carrying. So the K ration back here was the tins, yeah. much more transportable, fit in pockets. They had pockets especially for K, K rations. Yeah, let's just down. Yeah. Let's see right. One more. Oh, no worries, man. Yeah. Just rotating it around here quick. Yeah. Um, but I'm really, really pleased with how these things turned out. Yeah. Um, Absolutely. And on the very back of the back row, we've got our of course, our jerry cans. We've got a couple of yeah. crates together in one, but you've got your, yeah, 30 cal so armor, this thing ammo, is just I totally decked out with, uh, and we've got a couple of 50 cal. Tons of gear, yeah, there we go. And these are printed tiles, actually, so that's 
old existing art, but, but a couple you of things. Yeah. You get it. It's cool. So, um, what else? Oh, you can't forget the barrel. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, but back in World War II, there was a real tank called the Fury. So here we go. Um, Maybe it wasn't an Easy Eight, but there was definitely an, actually a tank called Fury back in. Dan was saying, what was the, what was the model? Sure, just an M4. It was an M4 that was called Fury. Okay, yeah. <laughs> there was an M4 Sherman that was called Fury, so. They're all M4s. <laughs> <laughs> They're all M4s. But it's the base model. Sure, sure. But I actually did two different stickers, one for each side of the Fury barrel, because, you know, it's hand-painted. It's not going to look the same. Right. Um, and we also have the tank designation on the back. And little nice little stencil. And serial yep. Right next to and the, the serial numbers off on the side. So yeah. awesome. This thing is a it's totally decked out kit. I don't think we've done anything quite as just beautifully detailed as this. So it's exciting to see that you can just load this thing up with cargo in the back. So yeah. very very cool. Well, thank you, Slam. Uh, we look forward to seeing more uh, awesome artwork. And uh, you're working on some perfect caliber weaponry also. So Correct. We're excited so to see we've done that. A few a few of those yeah. so far. We're going to keep doing those out. A lot more to come. Every few weeks, look for a new p perfect caliber, hopefully. Yeah, hopefully. So. And yeah, cool. I'll, I'll be here. Keep rocking out the stickers and whatever you want. Yeah. Absolutely. Cool. All right, thank you very much, Slam. Let's get back to Dan. Thanks. Really. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we're back to Dan uh, to uh, kind of wrap things up here. Any close, any, anything else you want to go over on the kit? Oh, the kit's great. I mean, this is one of the better. You know, look at how smooth that runs. Wow, yeah. Uh, it does have some working suspension details. Let me sh show you. The, the, you can see that these uh, uh, bogeys will rock. Nice. They will snake. The bogeys will snake. Absolutely. As you, go, as you run over uh, your enemies, um, the bogeys will snake. Absolutely. <laughs> but yeah, all around, just, just a really nice tank. Four opening hatches. You do have this nice new cupola on here um, the, for the commander. Um, you cannot fit your guys down in the hull unless you do some modifications to it. But just want to show you that you can put four of the figures inside the tank hull. Uh, I'm not going to bother putting them in there now, but these, all these hatches, even for the drivers, they do open. Um, got a like, loader's hatch here, too. That's it. This I mean, is, this, this is, is cool. You got lots. This is going to be insanely popular. Uh, it, I'm, I'm uh, super excited to see. We how did make a larger than, than than normal um, batch size to get started on this because things have been selling out so fast. Hopefully, they won't sell out right away. But I wouldn't wait either because right. uh, everything it, that we've been putting out lately has been selling out really fast. And if you don't want to have to wait six to eight weeks for the restock, right. try to get it right away. Otherwise, you're going to be out of luck. Yeah, we're trying to make this restockable, but no guarantees yeah. on any of it. You know, a piece of supply can dry up at any moment. Right. Right. Oh well, yeah. That that, that would mean we were doomed. We're doomed. We're doomed. Um, yeah, yeah, just an all-around good kit. Really freaking awesome kit, Dan. Uh, I'm super excited to see yeah. uh, how this does. So yeah, slam with that. And really outdid himself. Yeah. And appreciate all the extra help with this yeah. kit. Uh, with that, that is the episode. Uh, for more information on this kit, please check out BrickMania.com. Thank you very much for watching.